Hello everyone, and thanks for joining me here. My name, of course, is Mr. Mocha Lover, and let's continue playing as the Jimin Lorike, and hopefully in this episode we might be able to capitulate the Soviet Union, which I commonly like to refer to as the Soviet Onion, but let us continue regardless. So, uh, I was just taking a look at my ships right now, and yes, we are going to repair a lot of ships, or I guess refit them all. Uh, obviously it's a lot of just very easy ships to repair or refit, but I just wanted to tell you guys we have about five capital ships that we're currently making, five heavy battleships, one, two, three, four, five battleships that will be added to the fleet when they're done, which actually is going to take a while, it's going to take more than another year to get all five done, which really sucks, but that's still okay, because we still have a lot of time before we, before I invade South America to Central America to the Caribbean, to the United States, and Canada. But regardless, this is what we are doing. Also, I want to bring to your attention that I was tabbing around to see the different countries and their stockpiles of equipment, uh, stuff like that, how much manpower, um, just basically the offensive capabilities and defensive capabilities of all nations in the world, at least the major nations, such as the United States. Uh, who else is there? United States the Soviet Union, Japan, of course me, Italy, Spain. So I was just checking them out and right now you're watching me deploy a lot of planes in this one area. Hmm, I wonder why, especially if this they have territory here that I need to go blow up. Hmm, wow we can actually go. Because right here the Allies have a major US fleet and actually their main, I think one of their main US fleets as well as I think a few more British ships as well. So we're going to try to get them out of here and uh, cause some damage. And cause some serious freaking damage. Uh, I want you guys to get over here so we don't use up everything. There you go. Nice. You all. Give me you. Give me you. Do that. We have a ton of naval bombers, so I'm really not worried about too much. And we have successfully... Look at all this. 35 destroyers in total. 8 battleships. Oh my goodness. 15 cruisers. Heavy cruisers. As well as 34 light cruisers. I mean, my goodness. My absolute goodness. That is great. And let's see, that is fine. My phone says it wants to schedule itself for something else later. That's fine. Whatever. Uh, good. You all made it. So that's that's actually really good. I'm not sure where the any of the allied fleets can now be stationed. But now since we have that, we will need 1940s cruiser hulls as well. Since we need to make some cruisers for the plan Z uh, decision. Uh, let's see, right now... Also, I did see some weird things with like the United States and the French and the English docking themselves in Turku, which doesn't make any sense since I technically own the entire province. But, you know, stranger things have happened, and you know what, actually right now we could really use some more radar. And I'm building more naval dockyards, of course, more radar in Scotland, and a lot more refineries. Cool, good job Marines, you did a great job. Now, are there any more points within the Mediterranean? that are not part of the Axis or Turkey. Oh. Hello. Hello there. General Kenobi. Cool. Uh, let's see. You know what? So be it. I want everyone to come... Wait. This is... This is currently owned by... This is an ally's spot, but it says... Owner's National Spain. Oh. Oh! Well, we found one of the fleets here. Well, looks like we're coming back, boys. I want you all to get over to Syria so you can travel through Africa. Sounds like always like a great time to travel through Africa. To uh, take out that spot. And we are still trying to fight down here in Africa, which is a not great idea. But let's go ahead and stop the attack this direction. Let's go ahead and do that. That's fine with me. Just go ahead and redeploy your line. Reform yourself. It's just not very conductive to our operations right now. By doing what we're doing over there. Take some naval bombers as well and bomb the hell out of the western Mediterranean. Um, you know what, take 100 heavy fighters, put you over here and do western Mediterranean as well. You guys do that. I'm completely ignoring the, the Soviet front. Like I normally do, of course. Like I normally do. Take half of you, come down to Catalonia, where actually Spain, a few days ago, actually had their own election. If you're watching this today, or a few days ago, I don't know when you're watching this. It doesn't matter. Just at least, as long as you watch and like it, that's what I care about. And you enjoy it. That's really what I care about the most, if you actually like it. But whatever. Uh, how, what is the supply issue? Bad supply plus 5.8 total attrition. Hmm. 
that's not good. And we lost the plane. Whatever. How is this front going? We are pushing in, it looks like. Kind of. The northern portion is pushing in. The southern portion has kind of stopped. Just because I told him to. Uh, go ahead and take you guys and mosey your way in there if you can. I think I'd try to redeploy the line. Uh, our single division, our single SS division, has not done very much. But you know what? Let's see if we, at least some, some of these SS Waffengrenadiers can do anything. Obviously, our 100 planes cannot destroy any ship yet, but they're working on it. They're definitely working on it, and we lost a plane. Oh, some more sh ships are here. Ooh, very interesting. Oh, we did recruit. We did make this, and I do definitely want this as fast as possible. So w this means we are going to have to do some naval training to get a higher level of, or a better carrier. Secondary, because right now... I need more module slots, which includes this. Actually, I'm not even gonna... I can't even... There's really no point to even make it. Uh, where are my subs? Subs are good for training. Let's see. So I have 26 subs. There's one that's refitting. You guys, I want you to... Where are you, where are you guys based? You're over here, huh? I want you all to come... Vessel M's, and then I will train them in Vessel M's. You come over here. Well, it doesn't really matter. You come over here. As we're trying to push into the Soviet Union, and I'm completely ignoring them and train. Or the English Channel, which really doesn't matter since it has a lot of coverage still. Go ahead and train from naval exercises. We don't get a ton of naval XP. So be it. Uh, what is this? This is our main battle fleet that's doing nothing and refitting. And then this is our regular battle fleet that's doing nothing as well. So, you know what? I'll tell all of you guys to stop what you're doing and go ahead and train as well. Just because I'm going to need a lot of naval XP. Oh, nice. We sunk an early cruiser. Very good. Hope I don't start talking Swedish again. No, no. So, yeah, someone left a comment yesterday telling me a little bit about the history of uh, Banat. Oh, wait, wait, what is this? We sunk an American pride of the fleet USS Pennsylvania early heavy ship hull as well as a French, a legit French ship, that was an early light cruiser. Great. Oh uh, yeah, West Banat, or just Banant, Banat, Banat, has had quite a storied history. It's very interesting if you actually look into it. Very, very interesting. Uh, good, just keep bombing the hell out of those guys. We are running out of fuel, which is not ideal, but whatever. And you guys are still not attacking, which is kind of fine with me. I just want you to be careful. I just want you to be careful because, like I said before... I did check the Soviet stockpile of goods. They have a massive deficit of everything but infantry equipment. Oh my god, the tanks are not doing super well. Uh, you know what? You guys go ahead and stop. I don't know where to really put you. Where you won't suffer attrition, because the entire front line is suffering attrition right now. So, you know what? I might not even use them. Oh, wait, what happened here? Oh, we sunk an early heavy cruiser. Great. And, oh, oh, a British battleship, and then a British heavy cruiser. Awesome. Great job, guys. But, tanks. I could send them to Africa, but that's the exact same problem that we're having right now. If I were to send, what if we justified on Saudi Arabia? What if we justified on Iraq? That could give us maybe an edge somewhere else. I don't know. Seeing as there's so much attrition going on here because of all of our allies doing such a great job. I really don't mind sending my tanks elsewhere so they can focus on other things. We can add someone to our alliance. We can get more resources, not just for us, but for our allies as well. Because when we attack Brazil, it's going to be such a slog fest. And I want to make sure that our faction has... Oh, what was that? Uh, whatever enough supplies, enough resources so that we can fairly easily or don't have to worry about obtaining more resources for our war efforts. Uh, let's see. I do need to keep an eye on what we need to upgrade. We've got 18 naval XP now. That's pretty good. Pretty good. Uh, getting close. Next day that cruiser will be done, which is great. Can I upgrade that cruiser anymore? I mean, that's why we're making some heavy cruisers or some better cruisers now. Nope. That's the best we can make it for now. And you are here. Cool. 
make some better cruisers. I love cruisers, man. And the next one is on July 2nd, which is fine with me. So we got to keep an eye for July 2nd, which is good and dandy with me. Awesome. We are doing damage to us, ourselves, as well as the Soviets. So that's not bad. I mean, you know, you trade losses for losses. But the, the Soviets, they just have a ton of infantry equipment, which throughout the entire yesterday's episode, we did knock them down by a total of around 300,000 guns, basically. That is the total amount, or around that total amount, of how many pieces of equipment they ultimately lost, including how many they also produced during this entire time. Because right now, even though we don't have a lot of artillery, which I need to make more, our stockpile is way better than the Soviets. So that's really how you beat a lot of enemy nations. You don't really kill off their manpower in, in these games anymore, or at least in Hoi 4. From my, uh playing, playtesting. You just destroy the enemy's ability to fight you. Which actually sounds like a really really smart thing to do. Make sure they actually can't fight you and you'll be okay. Uh, we're pushing hard. We're pushing very hard now. Even though we're pretty light on attacks. Not going extremely well in some areas. So be it. I just want to kill off all these enemy ships because they can't escape. They are literally stuck in the Mediterranean slowly being picked off one by one. One by one until they are all gone. Now, what, what have I told you guys? You know what? There's attrition. There's casualties. We're not going to win a lot of battles. But neither are the Soviets. They cannot compete against our industry. Let's take a look. Soviet Union. Diversify the program. Well, they got much more manpower than us. More than double, probably. But they don't have nearly as many factories as we do. They have a lot of divisions. But we have a lot of allies with divisions as well. And not just us. Uh, good. Nothing else. I'm just really waiting for them to just go bye-bye. Good. Coasts anymore? No. Awesome. Very good. I just want to keep an eye on the casualties. Yes, casualties are going up, but they're going up for both sides, so not too worried about that. Also, let's take a look. Air X. Oh, there might be thunderstorms outside where I live, but uh, every place is usually pretty good in terms of air superiority, except for a few here, which is probably the people who have very few planes. So let's try to rectify that. Um, that's good. And yes, this will cost more fuel, but I think it's worth it to make sure that we actually win. And of course, we could use some more bombers, but I've not really made too many types of bombers, so that kind of sucks. Oh well. So you could probably use some. And 100 more. Awesome. That should help out a little bit. How's this looking? Oh, well, doesn't look like there's too many enemy planes. Maybe we just can't reach there. I don't know. Uh, people want to help me with... Oh, I'm out of support equipment? That's really not good. Yeah, that's really not good. Artillery and support equipment. It's almost... Wait, is that June or July? That's July 2nd. Support equipment. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Artillery should be fine. We're getting closer to being able to produce a fairly adequate and decent um thing carrier yeah carrier that's the word I was looking for carrier still nothing still nothing but their stats are definitely going down the marines how are you looking looking all right all right oops one two from here uh well from here please thank you to there I want one, two to come from Iran to there. And then I want one, two to come from here to over there. Oops. What the heck? There you go. Good job. All right. Yep. I mean, we're advancing. It is causing a couple casualties. Whatever. You know, so be it. Take that spot, please. Pushing in. Oh, we have a little small encirclement here. Go ahead and get a little bit more help. These generals must be getting stronger. At least at least more XP. Let's see. Johannes Blaskovitz, level 5. Not bad. Uh, qu questions and motives of Iraq. So be it. How, where are our tanks? You are re ready to go. Okay, then. They Iraq probably doesn't have too many divisions. They have three against my eight tank divisions, so I'm thinking they're probably not going to be able to do very well against us. 
Soviet Union, we've lost 1.9 million versus 5.61. Hmm. Moscow is a frontline city, so that's actually really, really good. Holy cow. Didn't expect that yet. Does anyone have upgrades? No. Level 5, level 5, and a level 4 field marshal isn't terrible. And Moscow has been taken. Oh, and we sunk two heavy cruisers. Great. How much closer is the Soviet Union to capitulation? 71%. Right. How is Japan doing? I said in the last episode, Japan was a beast, and it still is. And they almost conquered Sri Lanka, or Ceylon, which is fairly popular in the news. So, at dawn today, German panzers smashed through hastily erected barriers on the streets of Moscow, and half tracks were seen unloading panzer grenadiers on the Red Square. Thick, billowing smoke from the many fires raging in the suburbs could be seen rising into the air as German infantry stormed the Kremlin. Grenades and flamethrowers were repeatedly needed to fight stubborn NKBD holdouts intent on defending every inch of the complex. The Russian capital is now in German hands but has been left a burning ruin. Unconfirmed reports indicate Lenin's embalmed corpse was safely evacuated east. At last, Moscow is ours. And we can go to war with Iraq. Great. Another American battleship song. That was actually an ingenious move by us. By making sure that even the American Navy was stuck in the Mediterranean. And we closed it off by taking Gibraltar. And then closed it off by taking out uh, the Suez Canal. That was just a genius move by the Axis. Good job, Italy and Spain and everyone else who is here with us today. 1943, oh, heart attack. Industry, more output might be actually pretty good since well, we're not doing super well on infantry equipment or artillery but you know we could always use a few more factorinos factories I mean there I mean odds are Iraq was going to join the Allies anyway so cool and a few ships remain by few I mean a lot of ships but we'll continue bombing the hell out of them very nice and the Panzers are invading Iraq because everyone invades Iraq. I mean, hell, even the United States invaded Iraq. If the United States can invade Iraq, anyone can invade Iraq. Uh, you know what? Let's give our guys some time to cool. Get to where you need to go. Get you, get to where you need to go. Oh, wait. Wrong group. There you go. Because uh, I don't want to suffer too many more deficits. Because even though we are winning, we're losing some places, they are attacking us back. It's kind of interesting to see. Kind of just toying with the Soviets now at this point. Oh, baby, nothing happened there. We lost a plane. Iraq is almost gone. Let's go ahead and get down to Baghdad, yeah. If you suffer a little bit of attrition, that's alright. Tanks are replaceable. Yeah, yeah. Oh, actually, we had some cruisers trying to escape. Not today. No, no, no. And Iraq is gone. Someone falls ill. So be it. Oh, it's owned by Italy. God dang it, Italy. Go ahead and capture that. Um, hmm. You know what? As much as I want Turkey and the Axis, until they flip towards fascism, I'm going to eye them with an unfriendly eye. Also, I do want to take out these guys as well. I mean, this is probably for Italy as well, because <clears throat> I know historically Italy wanted another Roman Empire, and Saudi Arabia was part of those ideas. So I'm not going to say no. I might as well help them out. Also, let's get some coasts in here. We're going to help defending these areas. Uh, suppression. Yeah, help suppress them. I'm not going to help them that much because the Italians should be able to suppress themselves. That's a weird thing to say. But, you know what I mean. Uh, do Paris as well so they stop rebelling against us. And do one spot here. Cool. Awesome. Uh, nothing happened. Nothing happened. Cool. Very good. Very, very good. Tanks did a wonderful job. Yeah, let's go ahead and go to war with them. And then we will take out the Portuguese. Don't think I forgot about them. I definitely did not. And we took another early cruiser hole. Great. Portuguese. No one ever thinks of Portugal when you think of uh, World War II. Because they were actually... I don't think they were in the World... They weren't in World War II, I think. I don't remember. Probably not. Uh, rocketry, great. <clears throat> A Wunderwaffe, te nuclear technology, as well as rocketry technology. Well, since everything else seems to be locked down here, and everything to the right of that is just not for us, let's be friends with Japan eventually, or... <clears throat> let's get tactical air effort so we can get to long-range escorts. 
because I can get the next best uh, heavy fighters. I love, love, love heavy fighters. Early cruiser hole, very good, very, very good. Who's this? A couple of Greek subs. Anything over here? God dang it, I missed. Oh, we, we haven't missed it yet. Nope. I almost kicked myself in the pants for nothing. June, July 2nd is the day we want for that. Oh, did we sink something? We sunk an American battleship, the USS Tennessee. Great. Uh, did they reclaim Moscow? No. Okay, that's good. Stockpile report. Uh, where are you really having a major deficit of support equipment? But our deficit of, a, of artillery is doing better. Let's see, it's almost 1944. Really? Everything we make... Er, oh my goodness, I need some of this stuff. Yes, let's get some heavier cannons on whatever heavy ships we can make. And we sunk two heavy cruisers. Awesome. Love it. Tasty. Delicious. Yes, do it again. Uh, tanks. Tanks, 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 tanks. Because we're invading the, the Saudis and giving that territory to the Italians because... <laughs> Even though the Italians wanted a lot of European territory, we'll make sure we give them some territory in consolation. And of course, the front in Africa has stalled because Italy refuses to build infrastructure here. God dang it, Italy. But then again, I'm sure our Italian allies will continue moving in there because we have to get in there so I can invade Brazil. And this looks terrible. I will use my navy a little later on to ensure that anything around that area, around our continents of Africa, Europe, and stuff like that will be cleared of any enemy presence. Here we have... we are doing better on our deficits. That's good. And I'm just a little concerned at the moment about fuel, but we're building a lot of fuel things. Uh, can I build two more? Two more. Let's get two more dockyards in there. Fuel. We're gonna have so much fuel before we're done here. So we have so much rubber. So much rubber. I love it. We are the rubber capital of the world. You know what? Let's have a small little uh, attack across the entire front, of course. Let's see. Anything else? So far, not bad. Stalingrad is the last major city we need to get. The last major city. Add in a couple more tactical bombers. Uh, no one knew that that ace died in that capacity. Great. Nothing happened. Soviet Union, 5.8 million. We're get approaching 2 million in total in terms of casualties. And it looks like the Soviets have almost collapsed at this point. There's various areas along the entire front line where they're just holes. You know what? Speed it up then. SS divisions, I doubt you'll be able to do anything by the time you get over here. But uh, if you kill yourself, oh well. That's what you're meant for. Uh, nope, nothing. Oh, Coast Guard divisions, yes please. And once this war with the Soviet Union is done, we can do crossing the Atlantic focus as well as take all this territory that Romania currently has and make our ex commissariat Ukraine. Awesome. Wow, you guys are really fighting hard. Jesus. Oh, and we go to war with the Saudis. Not bad, not bad. Tanks. Go ahead when you can, because no matter what happens, the Saudi Arabians will not have enough resources to fight us off. God dang it, I missed it. I legit missed it this time. Um, whatever. It doesn't really matter. They weren't building. It wasn't that far ahead of schedule, anyways. Uh, it looks like though we could, might be able to make an actually a good carrier now. So that's good. Nope. Nope. And nope. Let's go ahead, go to war with them. Yes, I do see that the fuel supplies are not very good. But whatever. Ah. Gotta love coffee. Okay, let's go ahead as we watch our tanks kill off Saudi Arabia as we make a good carrier. Alright, so what do we need? We need a lot of hangar space. And uh, let's come back to this one. Secondary guns, of course. A very good engine. We need definitely some good radar, some really good anti-air, uh, some more hangar space, and then uh, quite a bit more hangar space. Let's see, how many planes can it hold? Does it say? Or am I just not seeing it? Light attack, heavy attack, torpedoes, anti-air. It doesn't say how much you can put on, but each one of these is 20 planes. So that's 60 planes. That's not bad. You could get armor 
So this way you have a little bit of armor, you are a little bit slower, but it protects hangar spaces against hits by enemy bombers at the cost of less working space. Now really, you could do more hangar space. It will make you a little bit slower, but it gives you... Oh, there's deck size, there it is. 20 more planes, which is pretty good. Pretty darn good. But since we're going to make four carriers per fleet eventually, that probably really won't be an issue. Secondary batteries are good, but they're kind of useless on a carrier, which shouldn't be engaging head-to-head -head against other ships. So really, let's get some armor just in case the carrier gets hit a little bit, because without it, uh, anyone can penetrate you, including, I'm pretty sure, destroyers and light cruisers. So let's get a little bit of armor just in case it gets hit in battle. We have just enough to make a good... Not a God dang it, not a cruiser hull. A carrier hull A. And I will set this one to go to the Führer's Fist. Faust, yeah. Where is that? Where is it? Admiral Hipper, German Theater 1, Leipzig. Ah, screw it, I'll find it later. Where is uh, Schleswig Holstein? Whatever. Awesome. And now we have better cruisers too, so that's actually really good, but we're going to need to get quite a bit more naval XP before we upgrade that. 1943. Let's go ahead and get better um, growth and cap. Let's go with better cap. Retention is okay, but growth, I'm going to use pretty much for everything. Battleships, nice. Great, 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 great. Our push has cost us quite a few quite a few men, but so, oh my goodness, the Soviets have lost quite a bit more as well. Uh, looks like, actually, let's go ahead and pause the attack. Oh, I forgot to tell you guys to attack as well. Um, go ahead and stop. And send... You guys all the way down here. If we get Stalingrad, it's over. So, that will be our goal. We don't have that much political power. Oh, yeah, we do. We get to it over to a day. Because we're done having more foreign influence. And yes, I will see uh, how far we are. Uh, actually, with influencing the United States and Turkey. You know what? Let's institute press censorship. And then... Let's do one more. Let's do Croatia again. Oh, and we sunk another battleship. Great. Croatia. How fascist are you? You're not fascist enough. 90% is not enough. The United States, though, is currently at 48%, with the Turks currently being at 40... 50%! Oh, they're 50% fascist. Great! And the tanks are doing a great job. There's just no coming around it. The tanks are super good. Heinz Guderian is wounded. And honestly, I've never seen a general actually get killed while doing this. So, can't, I'm pretty... I want to say they can get killed, but I don't really know. Come on, Soviets. you got to collapse. Did they, they haven't lost Stalingrad yet. They have not lost. Oh, we're not really trying to attack too hard yet anyways. But, uh... Here we go, guys. Three more seconds before we attack once more. Three... Two, one, push, 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 push. Not Torah, Torah, Torah. No, 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 no. Just push, 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 push. Nothing happened. Nothing happened. And an early cruiser hole got sunk. Is what happened. German Reich. Okay then. Tanks are fine. Tanks are more than fine. Awesome. 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 Wow. There's a lot of open holes here. Just go ahead and move in. Yes, we have a massive deficit of support equipment, but that's okay. We will be able to make that up once this war is over, and holy cow, we need more fuel. Look at this. Absolutely nuts. Ah, very good. Very good. Stalingrad has... Where is... It? Fallen! It's fallen. Great. Which means not too much longer until the Soviets collapse, but god dang it, they have 86% of the white. Come on, man. At this point, you can't build any more things. You just can't build anymore. I mean, yeah, they got a lot of factories, but Jesus. Don't tell me I have to crank it up even further. You know what? Go ahead and finish the caucuses off. Like, these guys will get very few supplies by being down here. And we can also grab their oil as well. Nice. Sunk another thing. Sunk another thing. Awesome, awesome, awesome. I want to finish the Soviets in this video. Uh, actually, your goal is the Urals. Because even though, ultimately, we're not going to stop there, it's a good, you know, place marker. Keep pushing, keep pushing. Yeah, we're losing a lot of 
quite a few guys, but so are the Soviets. Saudi Arabia is gone. We've taken out two Middle Eastern nations before the Soviets have capitulated themselves. But I'm just waiting. What the garbage, Japan? Japan. Guys, guys, for real. Come on, man. Why are you doing this? Why did you literally navally invade? Uh, you know, I kind of want to invade Iran, but we're not going to do that until we're all done here. Uh, go ahead and come over here. Just get down here. Baku is a very important place to get. God dang it, Japan. How could you betray me like this? Invading after we pretty much defeated them for us? Come on, Japan. Come on, how much? Oh, we still have 11 to 10% more. God dang it. I don't care about the casualties at this point, because since we have still over 2 million manpower. Come on. What's the air power like? Good. It's very good. Has Baku... Fa Baku has fallen. Go ahead and just push your way down here. So many repeated attacks. Ooh. Heavy cruiser sunk. Erk von Manstein is... Level 6. Alright, he's an engineer. That's good to know. Oh, and... Oh, he got logistic companies. Yes. Uh, let's get some more... It's 1943. Let's get some... Recon companies since everyone uses those. That sounds like a good idea. Put you on here, and... This area is almost done. Once we get take this province, I will go and reform the front line and continue pushing in. And they are... There. Great. Go ahead. I'm not ending the episode just yet. I know we can push just a little bit further on. Just do the entire front. At this point, the Soviets have no extra supplies. And yes, I will gladly take your resources. Thank you very much. Push. Oh, improved heavy battery. Great. Dual purpose secondary batteries are actually very good in my opinion. Very, very good. So let's do that. I always forget about those cannons at the bottom. Right, go ahead and keep that on. Do that. Oh, nice. A heavy cruiser and destroyer were both sunk. And come on, Soviets. You've gotta give up. There's no hope left. You've lost everything. 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 Mm. Oh, yep. Coffee's pretty good. And it is kind of laggy, not gonna lie. It is pretty darn laggy. Uh, well, there's really not much I can individually do right now. Ooh, we are taking quite a few losses with this. Um, ooh, tactical air effort. Let's go ahead and get down to long-range bombers. If you can do anything, please go ahead and do it. Do extra supplies as well. I'm not sure if you can do anything. Uh, tanks, really not sure what you can do. So now, uh, go ahead and go to war with Yemen. The Japanese probably won't be able to evade that area and take it away from us. But we'll see what happens. We will always see what happens. Jesus, how are the de Soviets still defending so well? It makes no sense. I mean, they are literally 92% of the way towards capitulation. And I'm not going to do this for very much longer. But... Soon enough. Oh, wait. What happened here? I want everyone. Yeah, get everyone up here. Go ahead and do that. And... Get some mechanized. Mechanized for our tanks sound pretty good, even though it does make him weigh a little bit more. Go ahead and just let the Marines do what they need to do. Steiner has been wounded. And, yeah. Just go ahead. I need, I need the Soviets gone. I need them gone. Come on. They're dug in. They're mountaineers. Our attacks aren't super great, but we have the resources behind our military, mostly. Instead of the Soviets. Soviets, how many factories and stuff do you currently have? A couple factories, a few factories. Quite a bit less manpower. Actually, kind of surprising. They're probably trying to train a bunch of divisions, but... Not exactly working out for them. It looks like we're actually being very successful here now. Pushing in, pushing in. They are 93%. Come on. I know this episode's going to be extra long, and I apologize ahead of time, but I really want these guys gone. Really, really want them gone. 
Okay, so ban abandon the line. I don't know what type of strategy that is, but it looks like you're playing some sort of 2D chess, maybe? I'm, I'm not really sure. Let's see. And we'll start from up here down to about there. Do that. Just go ahead. For you guys, you can go ahead as well. I don't know. I don't even remember where I put you. Ah, Yemen. We're still trying to attack out of Africa, or out of, like, North Africa into Central Africa. It's not really working super well. So be it. Over 7 million casualties. 95% of the way there. Their division count is fluctuating quite a bit. Come on, god dang it. Just give up. I've taken all your major cities. There is no hope for the Soviets now. Yep, 96. They're only 4 more percent. And they're taking a lot of losses. Oh man, come on. Come on now. Attacking over river, of course, is not a good idea, but I guess it happens. Go ahead and take that. Push in, push in. Does anyone have upgrades? No? Okay. Uh, we can go to war with Yemen. I wonder if we can conquer three Middle Eastern factions, or, you know, countries, <clears throat> within a single episode as we kind of wait for the god dang Soviets to hurry up and die. Uh, yeah, we really can't do very much down here. Really sucks. But that means I can use Marines and attack Ethiopia or Eritrea. Kind of like that. A little easier. Uh, let's go ahead. Take you. You to all come over here. Please don't die in the water. Very cool. Push, push, push. They're so close. Three more percent. I'm sorry, guys. I know I'm taking quite a while for this. But, you know, it's just... I'm not going to do another episode with the Soviets alive. Just because that means I have to edit it with even more stuff and take more time out of my day to do that. And I really don't want to do that for tomorrow. Because tomorrow we'll just start clean and focus really hard on the rest of the Middle East, Africa, and that they're the like of. I mean, this is ridiculous. The Soviets, you've lost everything. And you're still fighting. With so few manpower. Ooh, secondary batteries. So little manpower. More resources, because why not? Actually, I should have probably done fuel, but whatever. I mean, seriously. How many guns are you making? That's all they have. Oh, they have very few factories now. And less than 2 million manpower. Alright. Just kick it back up. There will be no breaks until the Soviets break. <laughs> Come on. Come on now. Uh, this is just a little... Oh, look how close they are. They refuse to give up. 97% of the way there still, but they just refuse to give up. It makes no sense. After you lose the three biggest cities and you're getting pushed back to the Ural Mountains, you'd think that I'd call in Japan right now and say, F you to the Soviet Union. Oh, okay, never mind. They don't want to come in because Japan is Hirohito. Well, okay then. I guess Hirohito doesn't really kind of like the Soviets, even though they are... Pretty much ready to go ahead and fight them. You know what? I don't know if I can actually do this in this episode without it going past 40 minutes long. This is ridiculous. This should not happen. Ugh. That really sucks. That the Soviets, despite losing almost all of their European holdings, refuse to give up. That seems a little bit too much. I kind of wish it was honestly a little bit more balanced out where you inflict massive casualties. Because right now, we've taken quite a few casualties. But the Soviets, at least, you know, try to mirror our timeline. This should be insanely higher. Well, I guess, you know, I guess I'm thinking of as civilian casualties as well, but Paradox really doesn't want to model civilian casualties. Because that might not look very good for them. But you know what? I think this video's gone on long enough. The Soviets are just being pieces of garbage. But I will finish this right now. Between this episode and the next, and you will see, basically, Stalin getting castrated in the next video, or... The remains of his castrated body. With that in mind, though, thank you very much for watching, guys. Leave a like if you liked the video. Subscribe if you're new. And I will see you tomorrow with a dead and fully purged Soviet Union. Thanks for watching, guys.